Hello, hello, Buzzers, and I am going to be explaining how Bond Beyond Time is a niche canon movie for Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, the reason why I say it's niche, I have to say because it's only canon for the 5D's timeline. And to explain why that is, is because in GX, um, Jaden had already met a Tim and Yugi. Now, a lot of people say, oh, the person that gave Jaden uh, his wing creeper wasn't Tim, it was Yugi. And yeah, you can make that argument, but that argument would be invalid. Now, here's why. The voice, sure, it could have been an older Yugi, which it most likely, which was going to be most likely, I mean, I mean, but, um, no, the voice was literally a Tim, and I will, I don't think older Yugi would sound like a Tim, and here's why, even though young Yugi and all that, uh, well, Yugi in general, let's just say, was the reincarnation of a Tim. He really didn't sound like a Tim at all. Even when they did the little um, flashback arc for a Tim and a Tim in his young age, he didn't sound like Yugi. So. No, I don't think older Yugi would sound like a Tim. And then, when you go back to season 4 of GX, you see um, Jaden, because he's leaving Duel Academy. For those that don't know, season 4 was never um, dubbed, but if you look, go back and watch the sub episodes and you watch season 4 Jaden was leaving the academy and they had a Tim slash Yugi's old deck on display because that's sort of what J uh, Duel Academy did was display decks of past champions and all that and when he got there there was a Tim, again, talking to him because a Tim was going to send him back to face young Yugi. When Yugi still had the Millennium Puzzle and all that. And people will probably still say, no, that was Yugi. No. Yugi couldn't do that. He didn't have the Millennium Puzzle by GX because the Millennium Puzzle was already gone. And when a Tim shows up, when Karibo flies next to a Tim. That was definitely a Tim, not Yugi. Now, so a Tim sends Jaden back to the past when J uh, not Jaden, Yugi still had the Millennium Puzzle and a Tim was still with him. And that was to get uh, Jaden's love for Dolan back. And he did fight uh, Yugi. Now I'm not gonna go into the whole fight and how it was a really messed up cliffhanger they gave us. I'll probably make a video on that in some time in the future. But um, once he starts battling Yugi, he then a Tim takes over, and a Tim takes over for that fight. But I don't think that, if I remember right, this Tim doesn't actually know that future Tim sent Jaden. But that's not important. My point is, is these two have already met. Now we go to the 5D's area, era, area, I said, I meant era. And 5D's is part of the Dual Monster and GX timeline. Just... Both are GX and 5Ds are both further a bit down from Dual Monster, so that's why. 
but um, five days is further from GX, so you say would have never met Jaden otherwise, and they wanted basically they wanted to make it where all three of them meet. So Paradox, the movie version, goes back in time, steals a bunch of well, um of the legendary dragons and all that and that's when Yusei falls after Paradox he meets uh, Jaden then him and Jaden go even further back and they meet Yugi and basically that's how Bond, Bond Beyond Time can, comes to be but because of that, that it's still canon, and it's still considered canon. But again, it's a niche canon because once they we go back to Five Ds and Paradox is mentioned in Five Ds and all that, and they fix the future, that timeline basically doesn't exist anymore, or basically the future timelines don't exist anymore either. But if you think about it. That timeline basically doesn't exist anymore either, even though Yusei still basically remembers it. And that's why the series after Fridays, which is Sexo and so on, never mention um, any connection to Kaiba Corp or anything like that. They have their own corporations and all and so on because their timelines are no longer connected to the main three series which is Dual Monsters, GX, and 5Ds. But anyways, I love you all. Hope you have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this. Mwah.